Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Hope. Today's video is going to be a gift guide or just suggestions on what to put in your wish list. And I tried my best to keep everything under 100. It's a pretty long list, so we're going to go through everything pretty quickly. First category is jewelry and that brings me into today's sponsor which is Ana Luisa. I feel like this is always a really good gift option every single year and I've worked with them a few times on my channel so you guys have probably seen them before. I love the pieces that I've collected from them. I wear them every single day so the pieces you guys see me wearing currently like the necklaces, the bracelets, the earrings are all from Ana Luisa. Their pieces also do come in little pouches like this which I feel like make it look a little bit cuter if you do give it as a gift. So I got four different pieces that I'm going to quickly go over. So first item I picked up are these earrings that I'm wearing, which I think are the Rocks Mini in gold. I actually have the same exact one in silver. I showed it to you guys last time and I really liked the way those looked stacked. It's kind of different from a typical hoop. It's actually like an oval shape. So I like how it's a little bit different. It's still simple so you can stack it with a bunch of other stuff, but I still love a simple like circle hoop. So these are these little Huggies and this one is in the color silver and I'm pretty sure this one also is available in gold depending on whichever is your preference. And then the rings that I'm wearing currently are all Ana Luisa, but I did pick up the Eternity ring recently. And it's just a simple timeless piece that's also available in silver in case you do prefer silver. And I just feel like it stacks really well with everything else since it's very simple. And then the last item I got, I kept it in this package because I'm actually giving it as a gift. So it's just a simple gold chain bracelet. I actually have this bracelet, I'm already wearing it right here. It's part of my everyday bracelet stack. So I got one more just to give it as a gift to someone else and it's just a very simple bracelet it's something that you can stack with a ton of other stuff because it's so simple their pieces start at $39 with higher end pieces depending on whichever is your budget and they have a ton of different styles so if the pieces that I picked up aren't really your style they have a bunch of stuff on the website which I feel like there's something for everybody you guys can click the link in my description box to shop and I also have a coupon code which I'll put on the screen right here I believe it's hope c10 and thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today today's video. So onto the next item is hats, baseball hats, which you can find on Amazon if you need something really fast, or even the fluffy bucket hats. I know Urban has some, Princess Polly belts. This one ranges a ton in price, just depends on where you get it from. So you can go the designer route and get a more expensive one. I really do like the Prada belt. That's actually on my wish list to buy myself eventually. Another one is the diesel belt. I'm pretty sure this is under 100. When I looked it up, it was 90. Princess Polly also has some belts. And then I have tote bags listed. I really like the corduroy one that I have from Urban that I got in my fall haul. Kind of similar to the tote bag, we're doing purses next. Personally, I would say my most used bag is the Balenciaga Lake Goal, so I would recommend it. And then Urban Outfitters has a dupe of that bag. It's not a knockoff, so it's not gonna look exactly the same, but it's very similar. This Princess Polly bag that looks exactly like a by far amber bag. Also JWPEI, I'm not sure how to pronounce that on Amazon. I have this specific style that they carry in orange and pink. And moving on to sunglasses, another generic category so this can range from anything in terms of price. I'm gonna link the Prada ones that I got a while ago because I do really like those. It's probably one of my favorite pair of sunglasses. These are less than 15. I have this in white as well. Amazon also has some that come in two packs which are around 12 to 15. And then next is leg warmers. The ones that I have come in a two pack from Amazon. Sheer tights. This covers both printed and plain. You guys always ask where my sheer tights are from. The plain black ones that I've been wearing recently are from Amazon. Skin toned one that I wear is from Yes Style. And then the knee-high ones that I have are from the brand Hanes on Amazon and then printed ones You can go like designer route, which is gonna be more expensive Obviously or you find other cute printed ones from pretty much anywhere cute socks with ruffled edges or just like these scrunchy knit cable knit socks. Skims has some. I think it was like 16. Even those kind of basic slippers is always a good option if you really don't know what to get someone. So you can go the Ugg route for slippers and also just the regular Uggs that you actually wear outside. I recently got a pair of the Ugg Taz shoes, which I absolutely love them. I got them in black and the brown one because I love the brown one so much. So next is sneakers. I only have one that's going to be over 100 and it's my favorite pair, which is the Axel Aragato Marathon Runners. These are 330 at the moment. The Adidas Samba Rose. I know these are kind of hard to find, so the only place that I know of is Stock X. And there are some sizes that are below 100. Another one that I do not own, but I think it's cute that's under 100 is the Reebok Club C. They have the double version, which is like a little bit of a platform or just the regular. I think both are cute if you're looking for a all white sneaker. Converse platform are always a really cute option or just the regular Converse depending on your style. 
Next shoe is over a hundred, but it's something that I would say is like one of my best purchases that I made this year, the Doc Martin Oxfords. If you're able to ask for something in that price range, I would definitely recommend putting it on your wish list if you don't already have it. Combat boots, my Naked Wolf Saturn boots are one of my favorite shoes that I own in my entire collection. Those are over 100, they are 280, but honestly, I would recommend them if you're able to ask for something in that price range. Last shoe category is knee-high boots, and I couldn't narrow down to any specific one because there's a ton of different styles that I like. My favorite denim, this one is barely under 100. It's the Abercrombie denim. It's one of my favorite places to get jeans now. And my favorite style is any of the 90s low rise ones because they don't actually fit low rise. I would say they fit more like a mid rise, which is perfect. The addicted cargo pants that I have, I feel like every time I wear this, you guys always ask where are those pants from. Next is the Abercrombie leather pants. I actually don't own these, but I've heard really good things about them and I wouldn't mind trying them out either. I also would say I love my Princess Polly Braden ones, which you guys really liked last year then i love mini skirts so aeropostale has some really cute plaid ones that are actually skorts which i feel like skorts are even better because they have the shorts underneath i recently got a skirt from zara in black the material felt really nice and well made the only thing is the waist is a little bit big so i would probably size down in that one if you're able to i personally really like the quality of it so i'm willing to get it tailored the next couple of items are skims and first one i listed is that skims maxi style dress i have not tried it out before but i've heard really good things another skims item that i actually do have is the skims vintage basic tees so i have the long sleeve version here but i also have the short sleeve version i have these in multiple colors because it's one of my favorite basics anything from the fits everybody skims collection like the bodysuits i have this one to show just as an example so this is an amazon dupe of that skims bodysuit in the fits everybody collection material is the same so this is like a really good option and i don't know if this one's kind of weird to give as a gift but i feel like maybe if it's like a close friend or family or if you're asking this these skims undergarments personally i really like their bralettes and underwear i think they're super comfortable any sort of fuzzy cardigan or sweater i have a couple different sweaters that i got from yes style and yes style does pretty good sweaters then bolero or shrug so the knit one that i own is from yes style and i'm pretty sure that was like less than 15 for jackets first one i listed is a moto leather jacket i think that's like what i would call it that's what shows up when i search on google sisters and seekers jacket i actually own this because i did a collab with them recently and currently it's my go-to jacket anytime i run errands then i have active wear listed i like my set active romper the lululemon defined jacket super flattering i wear this to pilates so i would love to get this in a different color next item i also have on my wish list more airy leggings then pilates socks kind of boring but i feel like it's very useful if someone does pilates First up, we have the Amika dry shampoo. I don't use dry shampoo, but my sister said that this one is the best in her opinion. The Olaplex shampoo or anything Olaplex related. The Detox shampoo. If I ever use a wax stick to like pull my hair back, it is really hard to get that wax stick out of your hair. So the Detox shampoo is a must for something like that. Hair oil or hair masks. The Heatless curl rope. I have one from Amazon and it actually does work if you like use it properly. The Dyson hair wrap, of course, this I think is always on like people's wish list. I've heard some people say the Revlon or the Shark is a good alternative to the Dyson. Then curlers or hair crimpers. For hair crimpers, I really like the Beach Waver one. I think that's the name. Popular makeup. So the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter blush duo, the Refi brow product. This one's a little bit trickier to buy someone as a gift because you have to color match. But if you're making your own wish list and you already know your color, I really like the Kosas concealer. And then you can never go wrong with lip products. There's a ton of different ones out there. So like Charlotte the Tilbury ones, the Pillow Talk, the Fenty lip gloss, which is my personal favorite, Laneige lip, the Dior lip oil a lot of people like. If you're giving a gift to someone who likes Hailey Bieber and likes makeup, the Rode lip products, I feel like if you can get your hands on that, that's a good gift option. A restock on a new beauty blender or some new makeup brushes. Good stocking stuffers can be pimple patches, eye patches. This is like more of a skincare device. So the new face, this one's over 100. I haven't tried this out 
sister said it's really good. It's from Amazon. It's called the High Frequency Skin Therapy Wand. Then Gua Sha or Ice Roller. So those are like more cheaper skin tools instead of like getting a device. So if you know someone likes to do their nails at home, you could always like restock on products that they use or get more polishes for them. My sister actually does nails. So I'm just going to link her Amazon storefront and you guys can shop products that she would recommend. First one is headphones. This can be AirPods, the Apple headphones. There's like the Sony ones. Then a Kindle. So if you know someone likes to read books or if you know someone already has a Kindle, you could always just give them an Amazon gift card so they can buy more books. If you're interested in like starting a YouTube channel, you could always put a camera on your wish list. Milk frother. If you like to cook, you could ask for the Our Place Always pan, or if you know someone else likes to cook, that's a good gift option. Any sort of cute aesthetic kitchen item, so like a cute cutting board, funky shaped cups, glass straws can be another cute like stocking stuffer, coffee table books, and you can just like cater it towards whatever's your style or interest books is number one. I actually get a lot of my book recommendations from a specific YouTuber. So if you guys like romance genre, I would definitely check out her videos for like book recommendations. Phone cases is another just like random good gift option. Tastify always has good options if you're going like the protective route. So you can get headphone covers. So if you know someone already has Apple headphones, AirPod Pro cases, which are around $20 on Wildflower plushies. I feel like so many people love these. If I think of anything else, I'll just add it to the Google Doc. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. You guys can check out Ana Luisa by clicking the link in my description box to shop. And don't forget, you guys can use my code HOPESY10 for an extra discount.